Hey everybody, my name is Dave OST and I'm a senior sales engineer with Trend Micro. And today we're going to talk about container security. Before we get into that, let's talk about what is a container. A container might look like a VM, but it's not. A container is just another process on the machine. And that's the key difference between a container and a VM. By eliminating the guest operating system, a container is free up a lot of resources and maintenance on the machine. A container is like an executable with all the code and dependencies uh, so the application can run quickly from one environment to another. With containers, you can truly take advantage of cloud native technologies in an agile DevOps method. Now, let's talk about container security. When we talk about container security, we should look at two aspects, pre-runtime and runtime. For pre-runtime security, it's important to start with a secure build pipeline all the way to the image registry. A couple of the areas for pre-runtime security are image scanning, preferably done before the image hits the registry, uh, admission and access control, and policy manager. Now, even with pre-runtime security, a vulnerable image can get deployed to your environment. That's when runtime security comes to play. You can potentially alert your security teams about the vulnerabilities and let them take proper measure. Now, let's shift gears into runtime security. Since containers share resources on the machine, it's important to have exploit protection like 9PS or file-based threads like anti-malware already deployed. Also, it's important to follow with uh, Center of Internet Security's Docker benchmark for container runtime security. Uh, a couple of the items are ensuring old or untagged images are not deployed, uh, ensuring that host namespace isn't shared, and only ports needed for that container are open. Hopefully this gives you a better understanding of container security from pre-runtime to runtime aspect and really shifting security left, embedding it in the dev cycle. If you're interested in learning more about runtime security and uh, pre-runtime security, subscribe here and watch our next video. Thank you for joining me today. <laughs>